I was absolutely shook. Not even just because she looked obviously absolutely stunning and gorgeous, but because I don't think I've ever seen her in anything besides a tennis outfit. My name is Crystal. I am the creative director for Casablanca Bridal. I'm fashion historian Kimberly Christian Campbell. My name is Nairi, also known as wedding fashion expert. This is designer dresses deconstructed. Today, we are deconstructing Serena Williams' wedding look. I loved the fact that she did three looks on wedding day. Obviously, I'm a fashion nerd, so I'm going to love all the outfit changes. Serena Williams did not expect to fall in love with a giant ball gown, and I don't think it's what any of us expected from her. She really looked like a princess and a superwoman all in one. The first look, traditional ball gown, I loved that she mixed it up though and added a cape into the mix. Her first reception gown by Versace is so beautiful. It looks like something you'd see in old Hollywood. I was absolutely shook. Feathers are so hot right now, especially when it comes to having a second look. She opted for something more form-fitted, showing off that killer body that she does have. And it's another really unexpected look from her that she pulled off beautifully. And then transitioning into a shorter dress where she could move freely, have fun, and really dance the night away. Serena actually consulted her good friend, who also happened to be the famous Vogue editor, Anna Wintour, super casual. She ended up with a gorgeous strapless Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen princess ball gown, which was actually the complete opposite of what she was looking for. I noticed that she doesn't have a headpiece or any type of tiara on, which I actually absolutely agree with because of her cape and the neckline, it would have been too much going on. And it is a very dramatic look. You don't even really need a veil if you've got a huge cape. She did opt for a dramatic earring, which is what I wanna see every bride in. Like Serena's earrings here are the perfect size for any bride. Both of Serena's reception gowns were by Versace and both feature feather details and elaborate embroidery and beading. A lot of people were actually shocked to discover that it was one of the most expensive celebrity wedding dresses in history at a whopping $3.5 million because they sourced these natural conflict-free earth mine diamonds and gemstones. Serena is not the first or the last bride who's going to put on Nikes for her reception to dance in. In terms of the impact of Serena's wedding for brides coming into store, this was truly the moment where a lot of our designers had already designed capes for different various looks within wedding dresses. So we actually had the capes in stock. We've definitely seen capes on other brides. Solange Knowles comes to mind, for example. And I did have so many, and I still have so many brides that opt for a cape for wedding day, and I am a huge fan of that look. The most notable design element about Serena's second and third looks is probably the feathers. Even though it's white, it doesn't necessarily read as bridal, which is a nice choice for a reception. Brides, please be warned that if you're gonna go for a feather moment, make sure that it is not gonna be on the hem of the skirt. And we have learned the hard way a few years back when we had created a wedding dress where the train had all these beautiful feather details and Indoors, it was beautiful. Outdoors, not so much. So that is my word of advice for all of you. Thanks for tuning in to Designer Dresses Deconstructed.